I've always been attracted to older Japanese houses, and especially the countryside. We decided to buy it and uh, do a renovation. My name is Lawrence Kogan. Uh, I was uh, born in the United States and uh, I decided to join the military and uh, spent 22 years in the military uh, traveling around the world and different places. And then uh, I retired from the military and uh, we decided to move to, to Japan. And then once we lived in Iwakuni, I really liked this area. Actually, you know, the countryside, I really didn't know what to think of the countryside. I was attracted to the countryside, but even though I've never been to the countryside, just seeing pictures. But once I came to the countryside, it's uh, so calm and peaceful and clean. But in a way, it's kind of sad to see that most of the people are older people. So I, I, I can't help but to think what's going to happen, you know, let's say 20 years from now, if uh, younger people don't move to the countryside. So I'm kind of hoping that in a way we're kind of contributing to, you know, uh, adding to the population <laughs> in the countryside. Maybe for Japanese people, you don't think about it, but for me, it's impressive to come to a place like this. It's free, uh, but yet you come over here, look at this. I mean, there's koi in there. It's just gorgeous. Japanese people probably see it all the time, so you don't think twice. But for someone like me, it's like, whoa, Sugoi, you know? Uh, I think one thing is the people. People are, are more friendly. Feel more home. If you live in the city, you don't get to meet people. And that's sad. Uh, but here in the country, it's like, you know, uh, interacting with people. Uh, and then the other part is just freedom. You know, you can, you have the freedom, you know, you're walking around your own property, trees, vegetation, different colors. Yeah, and the city is what, concrete? There's nothing attractive about that. Probably the most difficult thing is not being able to fully communicate, right? And you know, my Japanese is not as good as it should be. Um, but uh, just getting getting around because everything is in Japanese and kanji is you know, kind of difficult, right? Part of me, I don't like attention. Um, so I kind of, sometimes I just like to blend in and I don't want no one to pay attention to me. That's really the way I feel like I am. But I also like the fact that like if if I'm at the grocery store here, at the kombini, people will uh, talk to me just because I'm uh, a minority, right? <laughs> so that's okay. You know, I, 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 I like that. I appreciate that. Um, so I guess that's the, kind of a combination like that. I've always been attracted to the old, to older Japanese houses, and especially the countryside. And then I did not know about the Akiya problems or you know vacant houses in Japan. But uh, we found this house and uh, we decided to buy it and uh, do a pretty extensive uh, renovation. Uh, and it really didn't start that way. It started was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool so we can do it do it ourselves little by little but then we realized like well one i don't have that much time so that's why we decided let's go ahead and find someone uh you know we just met kayaki-san it just happened and i think we kind of found each other you know by us going to the local cafe asking and she's like hey, i know a person this is the person that built our place and then we met and then and it was instant so that's what we decided let's uh Let's, let's make this a big project, you know? Uh, 
what we're trying to do is make the house uh, practical, you know, livable, that every room has a purpose and, and uh, you know, that, that you use, you know, so you know, the kitchen, we want it to be practical so that you can, you know, you can cook and enjoy, you know, the, the, all the other areas that we talked about, you know, the, the bigger bedroom so that we can uh, fit our stuff in there, the, you know, have the tatami room so we can have the Japanese uh, traditional tatami room as well, but it'll be functional, you know, so, so everything uh, is with a purpose. You know, just like the guest house, you know, there's a purpose so that people can come and enjoy and stay as well too. All of that, you know, to me is just the, you know, improving the quality of life. Mental and, and, uh, and physical wellness, right? Because, uh, you yeah, know, like my current work is office work and, you know, so I'm not physically tired, but I'm mentally tired. But when I go out there all, all day, you know, pulling kuzu and weeds and getting sweaty, but I'm enjoying it. I know that sounds weird, but I'm enjoying it. I'm really, I'm really uh, having a good time. My dream, yeah. Your dream came true. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's no, it will come true. It will come true, yeah, it will come true, yeah.